that on the porch. Lord. I'm on a diet. So now we got the place we want. Yep. Kind of terrain you like. Right. Everything's great. Beautiful cabin. Only one problem. It ain't ours. <laughs> <laughs> this place is for the birds. <laughs> yeah. The birds over here. This place for the birds. Little birds. <laughs> Couple more guys Let's hiding back the there. Bird land. <laughs> this is the resort. This is what it is. Sunny Camp Kimball. You're right. There she be. Nice looking place. How much was the food bill, Rain Man? <laughs> <laughs> It's 9.05, boys, Sunday morning. Who's going out for the papers? I'll go get it. And the bread. They get the, the print comes out on Bert's bar. Yeah. Waiting for the bird to drop the mail now. <laughs> huh? It's a little bit dark in here, boys. It's a little bit dark in here, folks. Holton, Maine, Kenny. Yeah? Says Holton, Maine. Yeah, but the swastika is on all of No, no, now. No, they're rolling, so the swastika is on. No, but they're going to just wear jeans, though. I don't wear my rain gear. They're all ripped up. Well, let's see. This is the general's room. Lord's bed. Got his own little room in here. His own closet. A light. There's a view out front. Let's try another room. Here's the bunk room. Charlie on the end, me in the middle. Kenny over here. It's got its own door. Got its own stove. Door, our own private entrance outside. And again, view. Pretty decent. Swinging around. Here's the bathroom. A little sink. And a shower. Going out the back door. Here's a wood shed. All full of wood out there. After everybody's filled themselves up on macaronis. Did I eat? Sausage, meatballs, and ribs. Yeah, did you eat? <laughs> Everybody's so stuffed that they can't move. Not me. And we got enough stuff left. Go over there, can we? got enough stuff left to, uh, to have a whole nother meal out of that. It's pouring rain outside. We don't care because it's Sunday. I don't think we care anyway. That's how nice this place is. There's one more room I didn't show you before. I'll just make a nice leisurely trip around the boys and show you the den in the back where two guys have been sleeping. 
One of them had to be woke up with church service this morning because he couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> this is where Mike is. And Dominic. Got their own little cubbies here. Very nice shape. And that's the third bedroom. Now, here's a view of the living room and the table. All right, don't bring it too loud. The cows will be coming in. Holy gee. Now we got something going on. Uh oh. This is going to be great. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Put the salt on the table, boy. Blah, blah. This is an important ceremony. This is with great pleasure that I now bestow the green horn on another person. <laughs> After all these years. Ah, all right, let's give him a hand, boys. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> and the greenhorn passes hands again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Free! I am free! I am free! <laughs> You're now free to hunt in the woods. Uh, Monroe in the shower. We have a sink, but there's no faucet. The water drains outside. In the back there, there's a shower. We use a sun shower. And it works good. And nobody smells this week. And I'm going to swing around. The next person you're going to see is the cook. In his underwear. Cooking dinner. We're having a candied ham, baked potatoes in the oven. What else, Mike? What else are we having? Corn. We still have plenty of Johnson Avenue bread. The boys took the extra chicken cutlets today, made themselves sandwiches, and stayed out in the woods from dark to dark. Didn't do us any good. Today we had our first deer sighting. The fireman over here, Kenny, saw. Where is he? <laughs> He's hiding. Wherever he is. Where are you, Kenny? Saw two does. Baby's cooking now. Twenty feet away. Nothing with horns. Oh, Kenny's in the living room. Let's go over to the living room area. That's the living room. This is the dining room. There he is, the only guy that saw a deer. Sitting by the fire. Sitting by the fire, enjoying himself. Just came out of the shower, nice and fresh and clean. Well, I don't know. There's a picture window, it looks outside. There's the sign that says, no hunting, men working in the woods. That's not us, of course. We're working. Yeah, we're working, but we're not getting anywhere. There's Charlie, he's had his shower. What a wonderful shower it was. I had a shower. You didn't have a shower. Sure, I had one. Yeah, you need another one. I'm ready to get another one. <laughs> Mike's had a shower. Nick's never going to take a shower. Dominic's had a shower. Yeah, Nick, like Nick's new thought. nickname is Stinky. And, <laughs> and let's see. There's somebody that hasn't had a shower yet. It's Stinky. Oh, there he is. What? <laughs> Said he's not going to wash till he gets his shower. What do I got, Nick? What was it? He's got his own bedroom, and that's now we know why. What do we got? Are you getting away from sleeping in Pumpkinoor? I sleep in Pumpkinoor. There's Dominic's been freezing every night. Mike. He got a Sears Roebuck bag, and Michael's been yeah, opening I'm the gonna, windows on him. My hand warmers. Yeah. Now we're just getting ready to have dinner. Yeah, it's the hot. This morning he embarrassed the canoe. Yep. A nice glazed ham for dinner. Somebody's going outside to get cool off. It's so hot in here. Oh, it's beautiful in here. Charlie's been taking care of the fires, and he's it's about 140 degrees in there. Come on. Charlie's got his Bermudas on. Look at this. Now, this on. is hunting. This is what hunting's all about, baby. This is it. <laughs> Look at that. 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 Look at that.
No, huh? this is the cabin. My father would have been me. It's a beautiful boy. place. <laughs> a beautiful place. I sold the rug. And this is what they look like, guys. Right up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Somebody's really funny tonight, too, an attorney. <laughs> you would laugh. You would joke. You would catch. Here's a set of horns that the guy found in the dead water. The whole animal was frozen in there. He must have, <laughs> was that the one cat shot? He must have went through the, uh, through the ice and got caught in the dead water and it was all tangled up. And there was nothing left but the skeleton. And they cut the horns off and they hung it up here. Pretty good sized moose, I'll tell you. Very good sized moose. That's a big moose. It is a big moose. What a big moose, I say! Yep, and here's all the frying pans and pots and pans. That moose reminds me of the giant This is a heat moose, stove and a cooking Ram, stove. We we'll fry our breakfast right on that stove. The dead waters in and make our coffee on this stove. This man's got pots and pans and knives and forks and dishes and anything you can name. Whoa. We Good even have a liquor not. cabinet. A little Tabasco. A complete liquor cabinet. Need a little Tabasco on my wine and 7 Up here. Yeah, right. <laughs> I use Tabasco. I didn't okay, use and it's 6.43, and we're ready to close it out. for me. Well, boys, it's Friday afternoon. Yeah, it is. We're Stop. just finishing up lunch. Last three Stop. hours. What a meal. Do or die. We've had good meals and a lot of fun, but no I deer yet. <laughs> Don't you always. Not a speck left. You Tonight you're going to wash it. Tonight you're going to get the story of Uncle Nick in the canoe. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Meantime, I'm going outside and get some shots. That'll be a classic, folks. Hang on for that one. <laughs> I hear there's an old town canoe factory wants to use me for advertising. Yeah, oh, right. So far. This is the front of the cabin. That whole porch you see is screened in. Behind this pile of trees here is a pile of wood. And there's a little workshop in there that you can't barely see. This is the place. Totally airtight. Totally insulated. The place is like a house more than it is a cabin. Beautiful place. Somebody's down here in the woods. I see somebody down here. Something's moving in the trees. Might be a deer. See the branches moving. Yeah. Might be a deer. Nope, it ain't a deer. It's Mike. <laughs> Where you heading, Mike? I don't know. Huh? I don't, know. don't know where you're gonna go? A plane. I hear a plane, yeah. Yep. Well we'll swing around here and show you some of the lake which you've seen a hundred times. You really see that mountain good Yeah. Let me get down closer to the shore. And I'll get a better shot of it. Here, come on down here. Look at this mountain. Yeah. Can't see that. You got to get inside that pond. Or you're gonna get the pine in there. Yeah. <coughs> I was down by the shore there before. Huh? I saw it pretty good before down by the boat. <clears throat> That's not traveler though. What's that one? Is that? Katahdin way off in the distance? Maybe. Might be. Yeah. There's Traveler Mountain with some snow on it. We had some snow the other day. Temperature today is 26 degrees. I 
nice and cold. Today is for the first time there's no wind. Everybody's hunting on that side of the lake today, except me. I don't want to get in the boat with Nikki. <laughs> And there is where the bog is. You go up that brook, up in those woods in the back towards the mountain. That's where Kenny hunts. It's a big old mound. Took you to the old camp. <laughs> yeah. A teepee. But it's not. It's a wind chime. Give that thing a bong, Mike. What, chime? Yeah. I guess it's in case you can't find your way back to camp in yeah. the dark. Or else you're inside and you hear that, you know the wind's blowing. <laughs> guys got a little bit of everything in here. Picnic tables and benches, outdoor grill. Got a float out in the lake. Got a nice fiberglass canoe here. Three-man canoe. A little bit of everything in this building. I don't think you need to explain what this is. But I'll give you a quick look inside. It's all fancy paneled. Two-seater. And the most amazing part of it is, it not only has the walls paneled, He's got styrofoam insulated seats so your coolie don't get cold. Out of the cabin as you're walking back from the outhouse. The little one on the right is his workshop now. He's got a four-wheeler in there, all his tools. He actually built that first and they lived in that while they were building the cabin. Here's an extra cord of firewood he's got stacked. His little tag trailer. Guy's got all kinds of stuff laying around here. And there's the road out. Takes you out past our old camp and out to the road. But this is the way we've been going in and out. The front faces the part of Kimball that we use. And this side has a big porch too. It's not screened in. And uh Several bird fingers, feeders hanging off it. Plenty of places to park our cars. And then out here is the other half of Kimball Pond, which is the boggy half. And it goes way, way out, as far as you can see. That noise you may hear growling in the background is a log skitter. They're cutting down logs. These hey, birds are emptying these things out quicker than you can fill them. You just sat right in front of Charlie's head. They come right by your... You're right in front of Charlie's head. Right up to you when you're leaning on the post. You grab that food out of there. Constantly, day and night, they're out here eating. There goes another one. All the little moose birds. Ha, <laughs> ha,